Hey, good morning everyone. It's Dave and we're back with our next reading of the Old Testament. For those of you that have been following along, you know that we're in the book of Leviticus. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we'll be reading out of the New King James Version today. If you don't have a Bible, you can go to Bible.com or download the Version app and read for free. Alright, so today, uh, chapter 20, penalties for breaking the law for a total of 27 verses. Alright, if you're ready, I'm ready. Uh, happy Monday. Hope you have a, a great week. And uh, let's get started. All right. <clears throat> then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Again, you shall say to the children of Israel, Whoever of the children of Israel or, or of the strangers who dwell in Israel, who gives away any of his descendants to Moloch, or M Moloch um, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. I will set my face against that man, and I will cut him off from his people, because he has given some of his descendants to Moloch, or Moloch. It's spelled M-O-L-E-C-H. To defile my sanctuary and profane my holy name. And if the people of the land should in any way hide their eyes from the man when he gives them some of his descendants to Moloch, and they do not kill him, then I will set my face against that man and against his family. And I will cut him off from his people, and all who prostitute themselves with him, to commit harlotry with Moloch. And the person who turns to mediums and familiar spirits to prostitute himself with them, I will set my face against that person and cut him off from his people. Consecrate yourselves, therefore, and be holy, for I am the Lord your God. And you shall keep my statutes and perform them. I am the Lord who sanctifies you. For everyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. He has cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. The man who commits adultery with another man's wife, he who commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress, shall surely be put to death. The man who lies with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness, both of them shall surely be put to death, their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall be surely put to death. They have committed perversion their blood shall be upon them. If a man lies with a male as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They surely shall be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man marries a woman and her mother, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that, they may, that there may be no wickedness among you. If a man mates with an animal, he shall surely be put to death, and you shall kill the animal. If a woman approaches any animal and mates with it, you shall kill the woman and the animal. They shall surely be put to death, their blood is upon them. If a man takes his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and sees her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off in the sight of their people. He has uncovered his sister's nakedness. He shall bear his guilt. If a man lies with a woman during her sickness and uncovers her nakedness, he has exposed her flow, and she has uncovered the flow of her blood. Both of them shall be cut off from their people. You shall not uncover the nakedness of your mother's sister, nor your father's sister, for that would, be, for that would uncover his near of kin. They shall bear their guilt. If a man lies with his uncle's wife, he has uncovered his na uncle's nakedness. They shall bear their sin, and they shall die childless. If a man touches his brother's wife, it is an unclean thing. He has uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. You shall therefore keep all my statutes and my commandments and perform them, that the land where I am bringing you to dwell may not vomit you out. And you shall not walk in the statutes of the nation which I am casting out before you. For they commit all these things, and therefore I abhor them. But I have said to you, you shall inherit their land, and I will give you the, and I will give it to you to possess a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has separated you from the peoples. You shall therefore distinguish yourselves between clean animals and unclean, between unclean birds and clean, and you shall not make yourselves abominable by beast or by bird or by any kind of living thing that creeps on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And you shall be holy to me, for I am the Lord am holy and have separated you from the peoples, that you should be mine. A man or a woman who is a medium, or who has familiar with spirits, 
shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones. Their blood shall be upon them. That's some pretty, uh, some pretty strong language in there. I hear a lot of Christians talking about, you know, tarot cards and uh, all the you know, crystals and all these other things is talking about right there. <laughs> it's, right, it's right there in black and white. The only thing that changed in that um, from the Old Testament to the New Testament is the um, clean versus unclean um, animals of what, you're, of what you can eat. And, and I think it was uh, Peter who had that vision and God telling him that all animals are, are now clean for us to eat. But uh, he, didn't, he didn't say any of the rest of the stuff was okay. So if you're out there chasing mediums and tarot card readings and palm readings and all that other stuff, might want to be careful. Actually, I would be more than careful. I'd stop if I were you. All right. All right. Thanks so much for uh, your time. I hope you guys have a great Monday from Central Texas, as always. God bless. When life keeps falling and wonder where he is in all this mess, he's right there to guide you. Unseen, you're not alone.